Hi, today I wanted to talk about power and confidence in a dog, and that's related to your dog's bite. Does your dog need a bite? Maybe, maybe not. Now, a lot of people don't talk about bite in sheep because if your dog is at a trial with sheep and your dog bites, you're going to be disqualified. But on the other hand, if your dog doesn't have that bite in place, a lot of times they don't have the confidence. If they have confidence, they often don't need to bite. So it's kind of a, a give and take situation that you really need one for the other. And if you have the one, you don't need the other. So let's talk about what kind of bites there are. There's head and heel, and then there's hocks and tails, and then there's sides of sheep. So the others are pretty self-explanatory, but let's look at the side of a sheep or a goat. If a dog isn't really confident, they may come up and grab the side of a sheep. They may grab and release, or they may grab and hold on. And as the sheep runs, they hang on with them. And that's called a cheap shot. And it's called a cheap shot because they're not going to the heel. They're not going to the head. They're kind of going where they're safe, where they know that the sheep can't butt them. It can't kick them, can't tromp them. It, they're very safe. So sometimes... If they do this cheap shot, the sheep will respect them a little more, but not always. Really, it's much better if they come in from the head or the heel. So that makes the head and the heel much more desirable bites. Now the hocks and the tails and the cheap shot, but especially the hocks and the tails are problematic, especially in cattle, because animals tend to kick up and out. And so if a dog bites real low, the stock kicks over them and so they're more safe. But if the dog hangs on to a tail or kicks at hock level and the animal kicks out, the dog's going to be right in the way. So that's very dangerous for a dog to bite hocks or tails, especially in cattle. But why do dogs bite? Well, they have to gain respect of the stock to move them, and so they should bite and then allow the stock to move away. And that way, as they approach the next time, the stock will move away from them without needing to be bitten. And a lot of times they don't need to bite. As they move in, the st stock moves right away. Um, now, there's something uh, about a dog that keeps their eye on stock. A dog doesn't always have to bite to show their power. In fact, they, if they have power, they often don't have to bite. But what they need to do is keep their eye directly on the stock. So if this dog is trying to move these sheep toward me, it needs he needs to come up and look directly at the stock. And a lot of times, if he'll just stand still, once he gets in probably in the tight zone and wait and keep his eyes on the sheep, they'll turn and leave. And if this one decides it doesn't want to leave, then your dog needs to come in and give it a little nip and tell it, hey, let's move. But one thing is, if your dog comes up and they look at the stock, and from the side it looks like, oh, they're, they're keeping, you know, focused on the stock. They're really zoned in. They're hooked up. But if you really look, the dog's eyes flick off to the side, one way or the other. As soon as the sheep sees that, they know they've got your dog. They know they've got your dog buffaloed. And if anything, they may go after your dog. Or if you see that, you may want to step in and help them push the sheep. So it's kind of deceiving because the dog seems to be, you know, holding their ground, focusing on the stock. But if you look at their eyes, they're not always doing that. The more power your dog has, the less biting they need to do. Power is not just biting, but it's maintaining eye contact, not turning their head, not flicking their eyes off. So power is the number one thing I look for in a dog because it makes their life and your life so much easier stock tends to move right off of them hardly ever challenge a dog because the dog is confident they come in they say hey it's time to go they get into the flight zone maybe the tight zone and the sheep cattle the goats ducks we're out of here so a bite just gives your dog confidence that they might not otherwise have and if it's on cue and you're working sheep then you can just tell them if you want them to bite and if you're trialing you won't ask them to bite Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, please hit the like button. 
uh, subscribe to my channel and help me spread the herd.